Reliance Steel and Aluminum is uh, the largest metals distribution center in uh, the United States. Uh, we encapsulate over 60 companies under our umbrella and over 300 locations uh, globally. For what we do and, and what my organization does is we manage all the data strategy and, uh, and all the data products for the enterprise. Our journey into the cloud and with AWS and developing of our architecture it has been really enhanced by the well architecture framework, mainly because of uh, the traditional organization that we are. The company is over 100 years old. Obviously, the uh, IT organization has been very used to on-prem infrastructure, uh, a lot of the technical debt aspect of that. So by migrating to the cloud, by developing in the cloud, the, the well architecture framework as well as AWS resources that, that are available to us really helps bring everybody together, bring everybody in, in alignment and getting on the same page and make sure that we follow the best practices and not repeat the, the same types of activities that create technical debt for the organization and increase the cost. When we went on our uh, AWS journey and we started building our architecture, one of the first things we did uh, when we were finished with our first development was bring in AWS and then we're architecture crew with all the solution architects to help us level set where we're at in our journey. And with that, we determined uh, what were the gaps and how we leveled up to that gap. And that was been a, a good journey for us. I think one of the top lessons learned that we uh, did with the Well Architecture uh, series is really to get all of the organizational infrastructure teams, the security teams, and uh, the, the various uh, you know, business stakeholders together so they understand what the cloud's all about and uh, how to do it properly so that we don't have technical debt. To ensure that everybody's on the same page is always a, a tough question and uh, we are still going through that uh, because uh, traditionally the, the company has always been an on-prem data center base and so there, there's uh, cultures we change, uh, a lot of change management, but we had to get all the uh, stakeholders for the, you know, the infrastructure team together, uh, but at the same time get the executives uh, you know, to, to be aware of the Wear Architecture Framework so that they know what are the expectations coming out of that, not just uh, having another meeting, but understand the, the tactics and the actions associated with that. The resources that we thought were most helpful to us during the Well Architecture Framework and the review is uh, our account manager, as well as the, the series of solution architects that AWS brought for. We, uh, we had discussions with a security solution architect, uh, as well as our uh, own dedicated solution architect to help uh, form the strategy of how to approach it, the type of messaging, and the type of topics to discuss. We do for my team especially. Uh, we, we definitely look at the review feedback and the readout and continue to try to strive toward achieving some of those gaps. I think uh, some of those gaps were partly due to the development cycle, but at the same time we're trying to take it to production so we want to make sure that we check off whatever's missing. To enable my team, uh, what we generally do is go through all the, uh, the checks that we do and all the components of our data pipeline and all the components of the, uh, you know, the solutions and the services that we build, but at the same time uh, check with our compliance team and make sure that as we work through the, the checks and measures of the Well Architecture Framework, the compliance team makes sure that they are aligned to some of the expectations of the change as well, because a lot of times uh, we have different sets of requirements uh, in compliance and security that doesn't match very well with uh, what are the best uh, practices and recommendations of the Well Architecture Framework. But to align the two it helps our team uh, get straightened up. So for us, it was really leveraging these readout to help the infrastructure team uh, understand where they need to be in terms of education, uh, where they need to be in terms of understanding how to uh, develop in the cloud. Uh, and the best part of that is understanding infrastructure as code as the core fundamental basics in the cloud.